Hi everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty and I wanted to talk about this mouth that's going on right now. I saw the lipstick and the lip gloss from this company as I was running out of my Rite Aid and looked, I always, always, always go to the section where they have the little tiny mini displays for the newly released, new launch makeup and I just, I go and I look because I'm also looking at what's on sale. And so I'm seeing, okay, that's new, that's new, that's new. Oh, okay, how much is it? Okay, and then I'm planning my shopping. I saw this display that had just these little simple flowery lipstick and lip gloss boxes on them. They're from Jane Cosmetics. They had different shades of lipsticks and different shades of lip glosses. And I was kind of like, okay, well, I'll give them a try. They did not have price on them and I found them when I got to register. They were each $11. I had a ton of plenty points so didn't break my bank open with this purchase. Um, and got them home, tried them out, and I actually really like them. I like the gloss a little bit more than the lipstick. There really isn't much information on the display. It's very, very simple. And now I've gone on to Jane Cosmetics website and looked. Their prices run in that, you know, 11 to $20 range, and they look like they're a very small brand, like a just starting out brand. Um, so they don't have a ton of stuff. They don't have, you know, it, it's not something like you would go on to like say, Makeup Forever, MAC, L'Oreal, you know, any of their websites and you see like thousands of different, you know, items and shades and everything. It's very simple, very just specific items. So I got these guys, opened them up, and the lipstick was in this cute little paper packaging, paper tube, and the lip gloss actually has that same flowery paper on top. Now the one beef I have with this lip gloss more than anything else is that's really, really bright pink that's the color that was on top of the box that was supposed to be the shade because being the drugstore they didn't have any open samples to look at I mean look at that difference there that's not the same shade this is like a bright 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 pink and this is more like a, oh it's a pink rose kind of color so that's what I thought I was getting um the lipstick again there wasn't a ton of information it just says my my pout lipstick I almost said my poof lipstick um, so there's not a ton of information out there. The color is Reckless Romantic. And it doesn't say, you know, cream, matte, whatever. It is a matte. And it comes out a little bit on the chalky side, but it is very pigmented. So it's like a weird mix between getting a ton of it on, but it being, I have a feeling it might be just this color because it's this super, super bright pink, is that it's not creamy. It's very, very matte. So it just sort of goes in and then sits. It blends nicely. It kind of goes out onto your mouth nicely and fills everything in, but it is a matte and it is on the chalky side. The gloss, thumbs up. I would recommend the gloss all day. I was so lucky that seriously, these two colors paired together are like a dream come true. They are the perfect pink to work with each other. So I was able to do the lipstick on bottom and then pop the lip gloss on top. The lip gloss was pretty darn true to the box. Doe foot applicator, which seems to be becoming more and more standard on anything in a tube. Um, this one, again, bright pink, color was hottie. That is an exact match. That is a perfect sticker for this box. That is exactly the product. This is just called My Pout Lip Gloss. I like them both together. I would wear this on its own. I wouldn't wear this on its own. I might wear it if it was a different color, but this one, again, there is a world of difference between what's on the carton and what's in the tube. So um, that's why I would never wear this on its own. I need this to kind of balance it out and make it a little richer and make it a little bit not as just chalky pink. So I'm going to say if you're going to get these, be, given that they are $11 each, that's a lot more than the stuff I'm usually reviewing for you guys, I would pick up the gloss. This is a brand I wasn't really aware of before, so if you 
have used them before and you liked something or hated it, please put it down in the comments so I can kind of get a better idea about this brand. Like I said, I kind of played around on their website for a while looking at different things like their eyeshadow palettes and their eyeliners and everything. And it looked like it was a good range of products, a good range of quality. The pricing was not up to, you know, absolute prestige brand level, but it wasn't quite as low as I would say drugstore makeup is because most drugstore makeup, you have the option of coupons and sales coming on. And this seemed just so random and out of place in my Rite Aid. It was, it was interesting. Um, but like I said, I really, I think of the two, the lip gloss is the standout product. This, this is a nice product. It's moisturizing, it's glossy, it's well pigmented as well. Like I said, the two of them together just worked, which I was like, thank you, because if it hadn't, ugh, then the lipstick would have been awful on its own. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. And yeah, put in the comments if you've ever seen this brand, tried out anything from them, if there's anything you recommend, anything you hated, let me know down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you for watching. I'll talk to you soon.